Welcome back, this is Ballas Google with more Let's Play Final Fantasy V. I'm joined as always by my endgame squad of Bart's Reina Krill and Ferris. When we last left off, we had completed all the side quests that I was well that I'm willing to do here in the normal run through of the game. We are going to head to the final dungeon today. Uh, there are a few things more that I could do, but I will save that for bonus content. Um, in terms of level grinding and all that kind of stuff. The only thing that I did do off screen here, because I haven't done any level grinding and that scares me a little bit, is I have purchased rings from Mirage Village. I have now in my possession four fire rings and three coral rings total. We will require four for, of each of those for what I am imagining that will come across, but for now, four and three is fine. The three on the coral rings. So let's go ahead and head forward. This will be, like I said, where I pick up when we do the bonus episodes, uh, but that, of course, is after we go into the final dungeon, which is here. Uh, this is the end zone where Tycoon used to be. I would love to say that this is a point of no return because I've always treated it like a, it's a point of no return. It is not. What in the... The end zone. Arr, we're being sucked in. We're going in. That does not sound good. I should probably go over equipment. Ah, we'll, we'll wait. It's pretty much the same as it was before. I think you all know what I have equipped. Well, if you care, I think I haven't changed anything, so let's just move on. I'll go over final equipment later, should it change. All right, into the end zone. Looks like a desert to me. What do I know, though? Let's head over here, and I bet there's some real tough-ass enemies over here. Not really. Seen these guys before. Let's continue on, then, with those guys out of the way. I think... Oh. I, I got him confused. What we need to do here is kind of go across these sand slides. Sure. Currents. Sand currents. Quarter Harpy. It has been a long time. I will keep this on screen simply because I do not like the Quarter Harpy. And I want to show that I can one-shot it now if Kraina, Raina, Kraina, Raina gets a critical off on it. Very nice. And yeah, you don't get very much for defeating the Quater Harpy. This, of course, still is all the uh, the normal enemies that you would encounter in the desert, should you be in the desert. Which is where we are, I guess you could say. Any new enemies? No. And we got dropped off over here. Sorry for not putting that on screen, but we didn't move all that much. We need to just keep on heading over to the right. That's how you get there. And now we have found the door. Let's go ahead and walk up to it. That is that is an important door, apparently. We monsters have been sealed in this end zone for a thousand years. Oh shit, that is a lot of monsters. I will take on all of you. My terms are that you fight me one at a time. And that I get to heal in between. Okay. Once X Death obtains the void, our new world will emerge, one of darkness. Apparently, they've accepted my terms. Your interfering is over. Today, by the power of darkness, you die in the end zone. Let's go ahead and test that, shall we? Let's go ahead and head down there. Uh, we have to go into what appears to be ruins, or at least that's what they've been calling it throughout uh, this game. Let's head over here where we can get an ether, and then we can try to head over to the right side. I bet there are new enemies down here, though, since we're technically in the end zone now. There are! Uh, we have grenades and death dealer, I believe is what it said. Um, yeah, I don't know why the desert is labeled as the end zone. To me, it's it's kind of two different spots. The what do I know though? What do I know? <laughs> Damn it, Bars! Why didn't you hit the first one at all? You didn't kill anybody. Uh, you might notice that Ferris actually does not have learning on anymore. I think this is the first time that I've actually gone through 
a normal dungeon, you know, regular random enemies not having learning on. I don't think there is anything here that is still left for us to learn, so I might as well give Ferris something useful like some high level black magic, which is what I gave her. But like I said, I, I will be doing a lot some bonus episodes. The blue magic will be one of them. Uh, I probably won't show off how to get all of them, but I'll at least link a guide how to get them, and then I'll just show them off as, as like a blue magic showcase or something like that. But yes, you get 1683 gil, 900 experience, and 3 ability points for that. Very nice. Gained a level. Oh, a job level, and we've received call. Very, very, very nice. I'm not that big of a fan of call, but that does mean that Krill has mastered summoner. We'll get a potion for that. Potions are always appreciated. I don't use them probably nearly as much as I should. But with this game, healing is ridiculously easy. For instance, I could change Reyna over to a white mage right now and just heal my entire party and switch her back to a samurai. No real loss there. Uh, but Krill has mastered summoner which has given her the call ability. Use a summon without MP. Anything could happen, and by anything they mean any summon. So, uh, it has its uses, definitely. Um, I might replace that instead of Earth. I'm, I'm kind of a fan of Earth right now, though, but if I could get... Huh. I'm trying to think, because there are definitely some better summons out there than there are... Uh, earth magics, but the earth magics are kind of cool. You know what? I will try call because I've not done that before. So I'm going to switch jobs uh, for Krill and I'll be right back. And probably a red mage, to be honest with you. Okay, I have rearranged the party just like I thought. Uh, Krill has nothing left except for red mage to work on. Ferris could be a dancer, but at this point, I'm pretty much going to stick with red mage. You know, job levels, I'm not too concerned about for now as much as I'm refer concerned about effectiveness so I have uh, Krill on the healing staff Ferris is actually on the enchanter sword so Ferris should be able to do a little bit of damage as well I think we're ready to move on healing staff for Krill of course I think I said that already though let's head over here and get into another fight before I can get that treasure chest do we have more new enemies here we do! We have a cycloscope and a level checker. I don't like the sound of that leather level checker. So let's go ahead and try to, to kill the level checker. Chances are I won't be able to finish it off before it actually checks my level. Maybe S-Shot will do it. Probably not, even if Bart's focus is on it. That doesn't that does not sound good. Because usually level checker. Okay, let's go for call. How does call work here? How does that Hellfire. So, how much damage does Ifrit do? I have no idea if I'm saying his name properly. Yeah, not that much, just like I thought. Look! <laughs> uh, the summons aren't nearly as good as I would like endgame, to be honest with you. A lot of the early Final Fantasy games have problems with this, and I still consider this one relatively early in the Final Fantasy franchise. I know you could probably argue that this is somewhere around the middle. Uh, but I would still say, in, in, in terms of style, um, this is still towards the beginning. I got it before it got to check my level. <laughs> Very nice, because usually level checker uses those spells that I hate. Level too old or something like that. <laughs> you get 1188 gil, 725 experience, and 4 ability points for that fight. Very nice. We probably won't be getting another job level for quite some time. And when we do, it'll probably be Bart's, actually. Uh, let's head over here and get a cottage. And then we can start setting him up with some real nice stuff. And you can see some of the beauties of this job level system. Because I haven't really shown it off before. This fight again, now. I will show off, definitely, how, how the job level system works in this game properly when we get there but I'm still trying to get a couple job levels and I might as well keep everybody with their classes as they are for as long as I can but if we head over here we can get ourselves another dark matter which is still something that I don't use like ever all right first thing we want to do is head down here and then head down here obviously we have to ride the chains then we're presented with a couple choices here. We want to go right first. I'm still waiting on new enemies, but I don't think there, there are any more. Nope. 
and up. Not up yet. Another fight for. Now we can go up the chain over on this right side, which does lead us to an elixir. Very nice. Now we can head down. We know which way we need to go. If you were paying attention, we need to head up the left one now. The, the middle one doesn't really lead anywhere. Okay, now here, I believe we want to go up the... L no, we want to go up the right side first. I had a 50-50 shot, and I still failed. And on this right side, we can find another blood sword. Very nice. If I had anybody that could use them at the moment, that would probably be worthwhile. Well, I think the red mage could. It, probably not, though. The answer to that is no, the red mage cannot equip that. And to be honest, I am loving the call ability so much more than Earth. I've already gotten Bahamut probably four times. Lovely. Just absolutely lovely. Uh, when we climb this chain, we have actually re-entered Mirage Village, believe it or not. You remember that this is where the Black Chocobo was. Uh, this is... well, you'll see. Uh, this was the room that we could not enter before. You'll notice that everybody here is frozen, unfortunately. Uh, so, let's go ahead and recover all our HP, MP, all that good stuff. The pot works, which is wonderful. Everything here is frozen, though. That is not good. So we need to make our way out of here, since, uh, you know, there's nothing we can really do about this. The doors still work. The people don't, though. So, let's get out. Nothing we can really do here, except go into the forest. Only one way to go, which is right for now. I bet we have new enemies in the forest, though. We do, and they're gonna fucking back attack. Okay, so everybody switch rows, please. Um, oh, and you, and you slowed down. Slowed down my healer. And confused someone else. Okay. Row. Everybody needs to switch rows. Everybody. Oh no! Where is Scanderself? 